Anybody who's ready to have his board flashed can come over here. I'm almost ready for flashing. Um, and I'm gonna get totally crazy about that. I'm totally sorry about this noise that I can't control and that get on my nerve. So, so what is Firmata? By the way, Firmata is basically a small program that runs on, on your Arduino that allow, that you can communicate via your node process or whatever process and send order to it. Because usually Arduino are self-running programs. Just like you put all the logic in it and just like if you need to have something move at, t at a pin, you need to configure the so pin in a certain form oh. and then you can use it. Uh, <laughs> while Firmata is allowing you to reconfigure on the fly your thing. Just like you can decide that now I want that the thing that was controlling a light, now it's just like it's listening to things rather than emit emitting. So it's uh, basically in kind of an API for for communicating with the support USB modem. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, you're good to go. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a tricky one. I, I would recommend that you remove this one to have more space because um, it's see. kind of tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's working, so you could keep it as is, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I broke your thing. Well, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sending data, sending data. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, you're done. <laughs> Arduino cheaper than a Pi? <laughs> By a terrible order of magnitude, yes. And it is, it has nothing to, it, it, you can even compare them just like, uh, this thing is not able to run a Linux thing, you need to burn a firmware on it. You need to write something that is transforming to assembly code and that runs directly on the MCU. You don't have something I evaluated as a, a interface or whatever, just like you need to, to Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I was talking and I... And uh, Arduino in themselves are not so much cheaper because Arduino are expensive, but it's an open source thingy and you have options just like to have them for a few, few bucks. Really. So, don't upload in this. I can just give you the board. And Yay! I definitely. So I was saying earlier that my instructions were running perfectly now, and that's not true. Uh, uh, that thing I always forget about it. I will definitely just like say, hey, and please finish to fix your Arduino when you've done the wiring, because you're gonna see just like lots of people are gonna be just like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. I forget I could have switched your board where I was at it. So you have the Arduino can, can move, okay. and what you have 
finished, but you can just like show it and the okay. and also since you keep them in the end, I don't advise to push them too hard because you're gonna probably discomfort discomfort okay. them. And since it's snapfeed assembly, uh, after three or four rebuilding them, you broke the wood, just like it's okay. it, you can do the workshop and then unbuild it and then rebuild it at home, but just like don't unbuild it just for fun or whatever. Just like it's uh, events, yeah. Or you will need to glue it, just like that's not totally complicated or whatever. But uh, ah yes, power cord. <laughs> you need current. You uh, have one. Just under. No. No. Okay. I I can see. But there's one. There's one here. That's why I say you, you know about the same thing. <laughs>
individual. Um, running your own stun server inside the same piece is really something um, can you really be excited about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be, uh, that's something I want to work on uh, soon. Yeah, yeah, sorry for the disruption, no, but that's was just like I was like I was really trying to like, oh, it's a workshop. I don't need to start to work on the discussion right now. And you were like, please, 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 <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to have any any node be able to be stuff. So. And what about the TV so the vision from the 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 publishing is scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we found a way. We don't want to know how we did, but we did. <laughs> I have your cable. Yes. <laughs> I actually do have one, yes. <laughs>
Okay. So. <laughs> you have five minutes to finish the workshop. Wow. And as I was fearing, it seems that we won't do that much distributed thing. <laughs> So please pay attention to keep the links because you have all the information needed to finish the thing. Uh, there's a contact address somewhere on the Catherine Solenoid website, which is my company. So please don't hesitate to ask me silly questions about Cat because that's way better to read than email from my clients anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So just like, don't hesitate. Um, yeah, one hour and a half already. already it's kind of strange. I drew sorry, it's actually a little bit. Yes, I was just like, <laughs> like, just like, and I was like, yeah. And I was turning on the other one. Oh, at least somebody, I saw later rules, so I'm at so least sorry. one person would have just like, <laughs> even started. So I would not recommend it because you leave with the thing. So okay. you will have to unplug everything. Oh, okay. So those things, those little things, they are really meant for the finishing. Because yeah. in my use case, I, uh, the best option to put it, it's not like that. It's like this. Ah, so that, that so you can you can just like flip angles yeah. and then you can you I have a better coverage of my flat that mm -hmm. way. So these little bits are made so the Arduino doesn't fall but when you uh, just like keep it like that. That they are only so there's there's something. Something. But here the tables that's fine. Mm -hmm. Because just like I made it properly for my cat. So that's like really the main motivation for this project. Yes. What version of Node did you use for this? Uh, pff, whatever. It will work on whatever version normally. So 10 install fails. Yeah. What? Install fails on 10. Interesting. Uh, oh, fuck. Um, hmm. Laser cat workshop? The YLD, yeah. YLD workshop. Uh, OK, but so YLD workshop. Ah, fuck. Um, so I didn't, uh, OK. Uh, please keep the test firmata part of the of the thing because yes, I didn't update for serial port for this thing. They they decided to make some scene change to the API and that makes that every project uses this thing is broken. I wanted to use the firmata party, which is something to upload the firmata to the thing. Serial port was broken. Broken. That's exactly the error I'm looking at right now. Uh, they're just like changing things for the sake of changing things and breaking everything. <laughs> and since they provide things, it's a compiled library, they provide bindings, but they <laughs> remove binding for the version that they don't support anymore. So do you have USB-C to USB and convert that to power? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. Uh, you need to go to the sci-fi, you know, you know where the sci-fi fair is? No, no, no. So I can... Uh, I, I can take it. Uh, let me just like go grab it. Thank you. But yes, uh, these things are still old school. You still need the old connected uh,
state input is still on. Yeah, um, I guess. So, uh, then, if we run how?
have you checked? I think you did, but your board is in five volts, right? Where do you check it? You have a little switch here. I think you have Okay. It doesn't matter what uh, regular issue. So the other is 3.3? Yes. Okay. That's one of the cool things. That's why I love those uh, Arduino clones. It's because you can switch a logic between 3.3 three and 5. That's just like really cool because that way you don't have to have the logic on 3.3 for the signaling of the, of the kit of yeah. the UVM, but I can still power the same with 5 volt directly. I don't have to have an external 5 volt bus only for uh, powering the servers. So that makes the whole uh, build easier. You don't have to have uh, the wires and stuff. Yes, no problem, just like, um, so, no, 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 it's serial port issue again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, fuck. Yeah, so basically, uh, as I said in the, uh, in the explanation, you should use a node version manager to do that, because oh. just like, that's <laughs> easier. Okay. I would recommend if you have NVM or something like okay. that, use yeah. NVM and restart the install okay. while choosing a non-system install. Okay. But anyway, that's, a concept, that's an advice I do to anybody who's using Node. Don't install Node with the packet manager of your OS. Don't install Node like a regular program. Is install Node in user land. You definitely don't want to have a Node process having heavy access to your computer. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. We all know about all the shit that's happening on NPM right now. Mm -hmm. The day, just like say, yeah, do something that destroy everything in your app, right? You do not get it. What version of Node do you use? Uh, I used usually around the latest. Uh, I usually use the last NTS version. This one works because you need to be connected to a computer. <laughs> These things are, uh, they don't mind if you plug it in and out while it's running, right? They are no, not, they, don't, not, uh, they don't really care. It's, uh, uh, they're so yeah, that's going to be maybe a bit short in uh, cable size. Yes. Why do you need a computer? Why do you need a computer? Because uh, you need to communicate. So the idea is we only play with my cat randomly on the internet. And our window doesn't have an internet connection, so we need to do something in between. <laughs> the joystick is just like because it's a fun way to control, just like it's just for fun. Um, so, uh, yes, I do have a firmware that exists that is our window only. It does exist. Uh, I can probably find it and put it on your machine if you don't want to to do the regular uh, communication system, but really the idea of this thing is uh, teaching just like how to remote control electronic devices, so if I don't provide any connection to a computer, it's kind of uh, pointless. Well, you can do both. Yes. You, no, no, you can definitely, you could definitely do both. Um, just the thing is just like this kind of way of uh, doing okay. the so you only need two of So this workshop has been designed around the JavaScript community, so I'm using JavaScript. And uh, you cannot run JavaScript on a Mac team before. So okay. you need to have a uh, connection and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. 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 Uh, I have a problem with libraries that have been updated, yeah. and I didn't update it. Yes, yeah. yeah. hmm? yeah. um, yeah. yeah. So yes, just like go to the rest. So you do it up, and now you can. So uh, you need to install NVM first. So okay. Put okay. Uh, 
Uh, oh, for Windows, I don't know. And the, uh, anybody know Windows here? Yeah, I think there's a special version. Yeah, yeah, because I know that the regular NVM is not working well. Uh, and I think N is working well, uh, the thing from TJ. There's like NVM Windows or NVM Windows? Yeah, NVM Windows. Please look at NVM Windows. Yeah. V M space Windows. Space. Yes. It's a Google search, really. Yeah. And that'll be a Cory Butler's get repo. NVM. NVM. And Windows. You need to add Windows because it's a specific version. Yes, NVM Windows. Perfect. NVM is a program that allow you to have a different version of Node, and you can switch from one to, uh, to the other, and you also install Node in a place where it's safe for your computer, because the regular installer put it in a place that I find dangerous. <laughs> uh, one is and then we're going to install it. Just like ins install, you need NVM first. So just install NVM, and we're gonna do the rest. And then you can install the library and play with it. But uh, redo the NVM thing first because that way you can show you the other address. And because what you need also is. First, install NVM because you cannot install the workshop without Node. So, what's more possible? Hmm? I, I uh, put another server, didn't work, and reset the board. Yay! Yeah. Well, 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 if you need to match up, something just like yeah, as a center that is not filled correctly for some reason, yeah. you never know. Those, kind, those things can happen. Oh, that switched off and on, I guess. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's Very all kind old of... Uh, uh, tried, uh, tried to the oldest trick in the book in our field. Just yes. like, have you switched it up <laughs> and up again? But you need nodes to be able to do that. So first NPM and then laser cap workshop. What? Hmm? Yeah. It's cool. So what are you doing? So, ah, Catbush library has not been updated too. Fuck. Um, I will do my work. Uh, I need to push some update to the library. Uh, what you could do is just like redo really the laser cap workshop, which is, has been updated, mm -hmm. and that we provide you with code exercises that will allow you to rather to really build the thing. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, and it's code won't fix that because just like this, this, this change is just like, just like yeah. the, this change, uh, I, I'm, I'm really just like, I won't get what it is. Uh, the benefits are just like close to known, and every single project using Serial Pod is currently either updated, either broken. Because usually you don't care, you could install the older version, but since you have the binary pre made for the latest version, that is totally different. <laughs>
Yeah, so uh, there is something. Um, if you look, uh, I will bring back the slides. I already have a working implementation at its simple, simplest level using uh, lib P2P to control the thing. Um, I'm going to try to find the URL somewhere in my presentation. Yay! So it's on the specific branch of the repo I took here, which is called Add a Catbot. Okay, I managed to install a new and uh, so I need to connect it to the same code to run this and run this. So, so no, you're going to do the live cat workshop directly. This part, I should remove it, sorry. Okay. It's, uh, as I said multiple times already, okay. they just changed serial ports to library a few days ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you do npm install uh, the user. Yeah, so should I close this one? No, you don't even need to close. It's really already made. You just like install globally the okay. library. Okay. And then you do you invoke LaserCat workshop, and you're gonna have. You're not co you you don't you, you don't know workshoppers. It's just like it's kind of training exercise. Okay. It's it's test based. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a challenge, and I'm gonna tell you just like you need to pass a test, and okay. whenever you pass a test, yay! And otherwise, oh. So, laser cat worker, you type laser cat worker, literally. Yes, you probably have even compression. Oh, yes. Oh, awesome. And then you start to do the exercises. Okay. I'm a programmer, I'm lazy, rather than speak with you, I just like write code so you can just like have uh, references to the API I'm using, the exercise and everything. And yes. And you can just like I need to connect the board because power on set test. Uh so, two things. Um, currently, the tests are, of course, uh, running in a virtual version of your Arduino. So, you could pass the whole workshop without the thing connected. Okay. But of course, it's better if you have something physical that move and emit some lights rather than some test that pass. So yes, you should connect it. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that time is running out. So um, I'll be at the sci-fi fair um, most of this afternoon. So if you want to go on and act on the scene or have any question, don't hesitate to come. Session are finishing at 30, isn't it? Isn't it? 45, 45, okay, so it's 37. It's uh, yeah. not too far, but not there yet. What's the number of the LED port, please? Mm -hmm. What's the number of the LED It's uh, 11 by memory. Uh, but just check. Uh, I can tell you that. Uh, 13, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yes, 11. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew about that and I updated half of my project, but the other half is not yet updated. Hmm? 
Uh, yeah, maybe it's easier if I give you my email and then I collect them, which is probably the chest. It's good. So, my mail is, I mean, you should write it somewhere here. So
So the, why is the serial code? I'm getting a permission denied on the serial code. There is two, uh, there's no self test. I just uh, did that. Uh, mm -hmm. The first exercise done in the on. Okay, so uh, uh, can, you, can you check which node? Okay, so which is the N, N version you use? Yeah, yeah, no, that's perfect. Because just like permission on. Ah, TTY ACM0. Why did you have TTY ACM0? Yep, but so, uh, okay, you have, uh, you have, uh, you are unlucky. Uh, so what we need to do now, it's uh, LS, so no terminal, I need a terminal. Um, do LS uh, dev slash TTY star. Uh, we want to find your interface, uh, and you're going to have to provide it with a name because it's assuming that. Okay, you have an issue. No, it's not here. ACN zero. ACN zero. I don't see. So because, uh, that's what. That's exactly the one. It could not open. So it's not a good thing. Try with another USB. You you definitely seem to be lucky on uh, the detection side. No, you need, you need to detect it first, uh, okay. just to be sure, just like do the TTYC. Okay, I think, right? This is the And also, now that I give you that, please, if you start to do silly things with it, contact me. And if you implement or if you want to be part of Catpoulet, you are more than welcome. Let's put laser scat and internet together again.